Hey everyone, MJ here. Today I've got the Made in USA Floatron Electric Leaf Eater, the ultimate leaf mulcher. That's not me jazzing up this review. All that terminology is printed right on the product, but I am very pleased with this product purchase, not only because it's made right here in America and is somewhat cost competitive at $181 on Amazon, but also because it simply gets the job done. Some assembly is required and I'll get into that in a moment, but once assembled, you just plug the product in, drop your leaves in the top, and it spits out mulched leaves through the bottom. I wasn't sure what to expect with the Floatron Leaf Eater because the reviews for this product are spotty. It has a 3.9 star rating on homedepot.com and 3.7 star rating on Amazon at the time of this video, and I'll provide my rating on a 5 star scale at the end of the video. Let's first talk about setting up the Floatron. My product came tossed in a box with a couple leaflets stashed in the hopper. The leaflets basically tell you nothing about how to set the product up. So for the most part, you're on your own figuring out how to get this thing assembled. It's not rocket science though, so have faith in your ability to snap plastic together and tighten things down with some screws. Like others in the review section for this product, I did hit a snag trying to line up the plastic tabs for the top funnel piece to get it all to click together. I also didn't totally know what screws went where, but eventually figured it out. I think the roadblocks I encountered while assembling this product would have easily been preventable with better illustrated step-by-step -step directions included in the leaflet or in a separate booklet. Even with the hangups though, I still put this thing together in around 20 minutes. Once assembled, the product is very straightforward to use. You've got a male inlet port to plug in a 14 gauge extension cord, an on off switch, which according to the product description, includes a resettable circuit breaker and a sliding control lever for adjusting the size of the leaf mulch particles or for improving the performance of the mulcher based on the type or condition of the leaves. For example, you've got a setting for wet leaves, grass, and thatch, which opens the aperture of the shredder, as well as three separate settings for dry leaves. Finally, you have a pine needle setting for the smallest aperture to ensure you sufficiently shred these smaller particles. You also have a cool little hidden storage compartment area which I found was most useful for storing replacement string for the cutting lines. The adjustable pressure knobs that attach to the metal legs let you adjust the cant angle of the mulcher simply by twisting the little pieces of plastic on the side which comes in handy when you're working on a hill like I was and need to tilt the machine to make it more balanced or more upright or to just change the angle of the funnel in the hopper to make it easier to throw leaves into. Finally, the leaf eater comes with an attached elastic cord that wraps around the bottom of the machine, which can be used to secure yard bags, allowing you to mulch directly into the bags instead of on the ground. I haven't taken advantage of this feature yet because I just let my leaves mulch directly on the ground and then spread my leaf mulch around my yard with a rake. All right, so with the assembly and specs out of the way, let's get into how this thing performs on the job. I live on a wooded lot, which means it was easy for me to rake together some leaf piles and put this thing through its paces. Initially, I was just picking up leaves by hand and dropping them into the hopper, but I quickly realized this method was inefficient as I was dropping unmulched leaves all over the place and not scooping up many leaves to drop into the funnel. I then switched to dumping bagged leaves directly into the hopper, but this method didn't work great either as it it overloaded the funnel and made it hard to remove sticks and twigs clogging up the machine. In the end, I found the best method for maximizing efficiency was using this little mini rake attachment that came with my larger rake to help me scoop leaves from the pile and drop them into the mulcher, while also using it to shuffle through the leaves inside the funnel and dig sticks out before they fell into the cutting lines. This brings me to my next point, sticks and twigs. This product is clearly labeled as a leaf mulcher, which means it does not mulch sticks and twigs. For some reason, there seems to be many people surprised by this in the product review section. If you want something that creates mulch from sticks and twigs, you're gonna have to get a more expensive chipper designed for such a purpose. The reason the leaf mulcher doesn't work with sticks and twigs is because it's essentially a reconfigured weed whacker. It's basically a bucket with a weed whacker at the bottom of the bucket. So yeah, the string is not gonna be powerful or durable enough to cut through anything tougher than a wet leaf. While this makes the leaf eater much weaker than a gas-powered chipper, 
It also happens to make it much safer. The Floatron leaf mulcher does do a pretty good job of letting thin twigs pass through the bottom without issue. So if you do accidentally throw twigs in with your leaf mulch, most of the time those little twigs are gonna fall through. The most common issue I've noticed is that a lodged twig will sever the cutting lines which means you'll need to turn off the machine and replace the string. Thankfully though, replacing the string on the Floatron is way easier than on a weed whacker. You need a flathead screwdriver to take out the plastic assembly holding the cutting lines. Then you slip the new cutting lines in through the holes and place the assembly back inside the hopper. If you do a good job plucking the twigs out of the leaves as you go, you won't have to change the string too often. I found I was replacing the string about every 50 minutes of continuous use with the string replacement taking around 30 seconds at a time. I saw several people recommending you buy a roll of weed whacker string instead of purchasing the more expensive cutting lines from Floatron. The Floatron's biggest drawbacks are that it's tethered to an extension cord, which means you can only take it as far as an extension cord will go from the nearest outlet. Though I did buy a nice 100 foot 14 gauge extension cord to increase my range. And the fact that you have to constantly bend down to scoop up leaves to then place in the hopper which does a number on your lower back and legs. However, these are drawbacks of any electric cord powered top fed leaf mulcher. It's also loud and creates a dust cloud during operation, which means you'll want to wear eye and ear protection as well as a mask to protect yourself from all the flying particles and all the noise. To sum up this review, I found this product to be exactly what I needed to tackle the endless leaves piling up on my property. It reduces yard waste particles by up to 30 to one, which means you'll either use less yard bags when cleaning up leaf piles or the leaves on your property will decompose into soil faster if you mulch and spread them on site. Overall, the product is well built and built right here in the USA and is a reliable machine for mulching leaves. So what do I rate this product? Overall, I give the Floatron Electric Leaf Eater, the ultimate leaf mulcher, a 4.3 out of five stars. If you wanna purchase this product for yourself, go ahead and use that link in the description of the video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.